Pamela Teresa Cabrera, 33 years of age from Duval County in Florida, has pleaded guilty to kidnapping her non-custodial five-year-old daughter whose name was Vanity. This happened March 31st, 2022. A police car chase ensued when the crazed mother, who had been diagnosed with mental illnesses including schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, at high speed she tried to take an exit from the interstate and she crashed into a retention pond. Once the vehicle was submerged, the mother escaped the vehicle. She held onto a tire to stay afloat Police officers were already in the water at that point, so she looked after herself. She yelled, help me, save me, me being the critical word. The mother made no effort to save her five-year-old daughter, Vanity, from escaping the sinking vehicle, and Vanity's body was recovered by a sheriff's office dive team. So this woman, this mother, Pamela Teresa Cabrera, 33 years of age, lost custody of her five-year-old daughter, Vanity. We're not told why, but again, we are told that she was diagnosed with mental illnesses, including schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Vanity was taken by the Department of Children and Families who gave the five-year-old to her sister. So I guess we can say that the Department of Children and Families made the right move, looked after Vanity, but tragically her mother was too hell-bent on insanity. During the 30 mile high speed car chase, the mother drove erratically. She was crossing lanes at high speed. She ran multiple red lights. She almost hit other drivers multiple times. Ultimately, she crashed into a retention pond, got out of the vehicle herself, but made no attempt to save Vanity. So we're told that she has pled guilty to the kidnapping event. And as such, she's awaiting sentencing in regards to a count of aggravated manslaughter of a child. I'm gonna say, of course, full condolences to all those touch by the loss of five-year-old Vanity, particularly the crazed mother's sister who took custody of Vanity. Perhaps the father, we don't know of the father's involvement with Vanity, how involved he was, perhaps he wasn't very involved, we don't know. We're not told within the article that I've read through, but really full condolences to all those touched, devastated, broken, distraught by the kidnapping and so-called manslaughter of Vanity, who drowned in a car because her crazed mother acted like a lunatic recklessly when on a 30-mile police car chase ended up in a retention pond and made no fucking effort to help a helpless five-year-old girl her own daughter vanity out of the vehicle no fucking effort she looked after herself she got out she grabbed onto a floating tire she saved herself officers were on the scene there was a police car chase so the officers got there pretty quickly they were in the water the mother calls for help for her save me help me i'm the priority i want to live i want to be saved is the viewpoint that i'm expressing too harsh? Is it fair to expect that the mother ought to have made some effort into saving Vanity? Is that fair? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a hundred percent convinced. I mean, if I reflect on it, it is possible that she wasn't feasibly had any means to save Vanity at that point. Don't get me wrong, I'm not fully defending this crazed lunatic. She kidnapped Vanity. She went on this absolutely reckless high-speed chase with the police, and it seems a miracle that she didn't crash into any other drivers, but it also seems inevitable that she did crash. But at that point, maybe she didn't really have too much opportunity to attempt to save Vanity. I don't know. I'm a little bit conflicted about it. But either way, she caused the death of Vanity, to which she has pled guilty, so she is awaiting sentencing. The article that I've read through has made no mention of a psychological evaluation. I would think one question is whether or not she should be held in a prison, in a penitentiary, or if she should be held in a psychiatric ward or a psychiatric facility or such. Does she deserve a pass due to her uh, mental illnesses? Well, no. Uh, uh, no. I've come across hard schools before where in some cases, I'm quite sure I'm right in saying this, it, it beggars belief, it's unbelievable, but I'm quite sure that there are situations in which culprits that have caused death, serious harms to others, I'm quite sure actual murderers have been released from custody because of being diagnosed as being mentally ill and not able to face trial and with that, oh okay mate you're too mentally ill to stand trial, so we're just going to let you out into society. All right, you happy with that? Well, society isn't happy with that. I'm quite sure that is something that happens. And of course, that's not something that I would want. I would want and expect that this woman has received psychological evaluation and does so on an ongoing basis and is held in an appropriate facility. If a penitentiary isn't able to adequately house a nutbag psychopath like this, then you've got to put them elsewhere. A psychiatric hospital or such where they have the correct staff, the correct facility, 
to be able to cope with such people. And by the way, I don't feel that psychiatric hospitals ought to be a walk in the park. I'm sure that they're not. But I do hope that they have some aspects that a penitentiary would have. You know, there, there needs to be punishment there. Significant punishment, significant hardships. There needs to be significant hardships within a psychiatric hospital for people like this. Perhaps I should be more aware of this, but it seems like there ought to be prisons that only house those with psychiatric issues. Uh, that would make sense to me, but what do I know? All I know is that this woman, Pamela Teresa Cabrera, has pled guilty to kidnapping her five-year-old daughter who was in the custody of her sister. She went on a wild, crazed police car chase, which led to the death of her child. She deserves punishment. Regardless as to whether or not there was a feasible opportunity for her to attempt to save Vanity, she caused that situation. She needs to pay for it. So again, full condolences to all those touched by the death of Vanity. I'm going to wrap things up at this point. If you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. Don't join my memberships quite yet. Not unless you're hell bent on the subject, but don't join my memberships at the moment. I'm not consistent enough to warrant the memberships. So as and when I do become a little bit more consistent, then uh, you can consider. Uh, but I'll thank you for your time. Take care.